We're going to hear from a number of the Australian Defence staff, Washington uh, branches, and this morning we're privileged to have uh, leaders from three key branches here in the Embassy. Thank you, thank you for that uh, wonderful introduction. Your involvement, your interaction in your location is critical for our relationship going forward. Go hard. You are all here because you have been identified as having the ability to think, decide and act in that order. Everything to in, up to and including Rotary Wing and Strat AME. Great to uh, get an opportunity to talk to all of you. I think we've got a few online as well. Uh, the last time Fee and I had a chance to speak with you was uh, via a virtual uh, engagement and uh, it's just not the same. You can see from the capability space, both terrestrial and on orbit, uh, we've seen significant growth in that time frame. I'm very conscious of it because the load on all of you just continues to increase. So we've got to be able to balance that somehow. And that ability to watch and learn and understand how people are understanding her or us or you uh, is an incredible skill and something that's really important in our role, particularly as we're interfacing with a nation that are uh, so similar to us culturally, but yet so different uh, when you scratch it. Your warrant or the Air Force only relates or only supports our enlisted force, and that is so not true. My responsibility extends to all of our workforce, and we've certainly come up with some strategies, and in particular, some programs specifically targeting the development of leadership across all of our workforce as well, which we touch on. If you do want to have a look at one thing, go and have a look at the Minister's speech. And I think one of his best, really good speaks, balanced. Uh, but he, he spoke, I think, very, very clearly on where he thinks we are strategically uh, demonstrating uh, what the current government views uh, in terms of our security. So 101 yesterday, and I think we don't look at Dave Passport. Is it 60, sir? <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the 2022 RAF Air and Space Ball. All right, as I've mentioned, I'm the Master of Ceremonies. It's my job to keep this gig on the rails tonight. So. I'm also aware that the last Master of Ceremonies for this event is actually in the audience tonight, so he's probably going to be making sure I don't plagiarise too much of what he said last time. Admirals, generals, air officers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, your service and your sacrifice uh, is a key source of our strength, our resilience, uh, and it's also what keeps us uh, ideally uh, keeping life in a healthy perspective as well. So thank you for what you all do and continue to do uh, and for being with us here this evening as well. I want to tell you that last night I was at an event for the Royal Air Force and tonight I'm with the Royal Australian Air Force and you win. <laughs> My mantra as Secretary of the Air Force is one team, one fight. And it is such a delight to be on the same team as the Royal Australian Air Force. Thank you. Uh, I've been... Uh, in government for a very long time, a lot of decades, 
And I've never seen a more serious strategic challenge to the things that we all believe in, to liberal democracy, to human rights, to freedom. Well, good evening. Good evening. It's, it's not bad. I learned that from a fellow, uh, General Jim Dickinson, who's the commander of the Space Command here. He gave a speech a week or so ago in Australia, and he said that he was expecting a hua in return. Uh, Lou and I, my wife Lou, and Lou's, uh, you know, puts me under a bit of pressure. She says, uh, gee, the secretary spoke well, didn't he? And he kept it short. <laughs> uh, and and he, he was funny. And I'm not either of those things. And she said, you better have a message for everyone too at the end of it. So, um, my goodness, I'm, I can only go down from here. And then once he could circular breathe, that's when he can start to tell stories with the Iraqi. That's when he starts to put it all together. So I thank you all for joining us tonight to remember and celebrate that fact. I know that we can work well together in the future. Our shared interests, our shared values, and our shared security needs demand that of us. Uh, and I look forward to continuing to do that with you and with our Air Force aviators here. And as they say, in accordance with our motto, per ardua ad astra, through struggle to the stars. Thank you.